Yep, you read that correctly. We're going to talk about how to set change custom attribute value as a conversion event in Brace. No, there hasn't been a feature update, and no, it's not one of the available conversion events currently. Two different Braze users asked about this exact same use case this week, so we thought it was a perfect opportunity to go over this. Watch the full video to learn how to set change custom attribute value as a conversion event in Braze. What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fornell Marketing, and welcome to day 22 of Brazemas 2023. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. Let's get started with our tutorial. Before we jump into our setup, let's briefly talk about our current state of Braze and a potential scenario for a marketing team. Currently in Braze, we can only use user actions like custom events as a conversion event. This is the case for both campaigns and canvases. For campaigns, our conversion event options are start session, makes purchase, perform custom event, which is the most commonly used, upgrade app, opens email, and clicks email. And with those last two options, opens and clicks email being considered more and more by the industry as weaker conversion events. And on Canvas, we have the same conversion events. They're located on page one, but we also have start session, makes purchase, perform custom event, upgrade app. So we don't have the open and clicks email conversion events. On the other hand, there are many marketing teams out there where the desired conversion event lives in their users' custom attribute values, not as a custom event. And there are many different ways to set up your data ingestion, and it's certainly not right or wrong that the brand's desired conversion event lives in their custom attribute. That's just the way their data is set up currently. But because of this, these teams are currently unable to track their desired conversion event, which is the change in custom attribute with Braze's current conversion event capability, meaning they're unable to track how well their campaigns or canvases are converting their users. Until today, where we will go over exactly how to do this with the Canvas user update step, let's get started. First, let's set up our scenario. Let's say that I'm on the marketing team of a gaming company and users are able to level up in our game and we want the action of users leveling up as our conversion event for this latest push campaign that we launched called New User Level Up Tips Level 1 to 10. In this campaign, we are sending tips to our users to help them level up more easily. So for example, don't forget to collect all the coins. However, currently the only way we can tell a user has leveled up is through a change in their custom attribute called level. We haven't needed a custom event that indicates that a user has leveled up, so we currently are not able to use that user action as a conversion event. So to tackle this, we are going to build a canvas and this will be a simple one-step canvas. And typically I try to stay away from one-step canvases, but we are going to be using the user update canvas step. So we will go ahead and build our one-step canvas today. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with the one-step canvas. It's just that canvases are designed to create longer user journeys. Anyway, let's go ahead and create our canvas. We'll call this one custom attribute level arrow custom event level up converter. Um, just making sure that we are clear about what this canvas does. And of course, feel free to make specific name changes for your scenario. And here is our canvas description. This canvas will be triggered when the custom attribute level changes for a user and will create a custom event level up that reflects the change in custom attribute level. I don't think we necessarily need a conversion event for this one, so I will leave this blank, but you are welcome to add any necessary conversion events here. And not to be confused, this conversion event has nothing to do with what we're trying to accomplish here. Under our entry schedule, we will set this canvas as an action-based entry triggered on the change custom attribute value option. And this is where you choose the exact action that you want as your conversion event that you currently aren't able to. So I will choose the change custom attribute value, add trigger, find my custom attribute level. For me, I will leave it at to any new value, but that could be different for your setup. For target audience, I would actually try to match exactly what's on the original push campaign. So because this push campaign is only targeting users from level 1 to 10, our target audience has a filter level is less than 11. And by matching the exact target audience from our original campaign, this way we're targeting only the users who are receiving that push campaign and avoid capturing any unnecessary users who are already past level 10. 
So go ahead and set that filter to level is less than 11. For re-eligibility, it totally depends on your use case, whether you want to allow users to re-enter this canvas. For my use case, it makes sense. So I will go ahead and check off this box. Next page 10 settings. If you have frequency capping rules set up, I would go ahead and disable for this canvas since this is more of an update rather than a messaging canvas. And we are finally at the build canvas page where the magic happens and we will jump right into the user update step tomorrow. So stay tuned for the next video. That's it for day 22. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, then please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.